the government's new planning regulations policy is coming under serious fire. Now, getting rid of red tape and making it easier to build on green belt land has angered many Brits up and down the nation. Now, TV personality and Surrey landowner Ingrid Tarrant joins us in the studio this evening to discuss her personal battle with what some would say are some pretty reckless planning reforms. So, Ingrid, welcome yes. along. How nice to see you like this. Yeah, This lovely. is a change. Well, now, thank you for having me on because this, um, I'm not just representing my area, but I'm actually representing the whole of the United Kingdom. This affects us all. This is very serious. This with the removal of the Green Belt, um, which in theory they're not allowed to do unless there are exceptional circumstances. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, you know, everybody can sort of like create exceptional circumstances. And I use create properly, um, literally and everything. Uh, to justify it. There is no real justification, and certainly not um, in this particular instance in um, Wisley Airfield, the development there. OK. But we definitely need more homes in the UK, and we definitely need to build more. I think everyone realises that. So, is part uh... of the problem here, where do we build them? And as long as we can build them, and as long as it's not at the end of my street? Is that, is that part <laughs> no, of the problem? I know what you're saying, nimbyism and all the rest of it. But, Neil, actually, you say this as a statement that's sort of like we do need more houses and we do need this, etc., etc., etc. Actually, we don't. Um, they, the government wanted to build 300,000 houses a year. It's kind of target, meeting targets. Right. At the moment, and we have to look how times have changed, ignore the fact that we have got millions of immigrants that sort of like is a problem in itself... We have got an awful lot of office spaces that aren't being used. We've got streets, high street premises, retail premises. We've got other streets, residential, that have derelict houses that they haven't renovated. So a lot of these office blocks can be repurposed um, about a year ago, perhaps not as long as that. Um, I think it was Robert Jenrick. He said we can rubber stamp usage from A4 to residential, etc., etc., etc. There is an awful lot of available um, premises that can be repurposed. The important thing is, and this is, this is, in my mind, this is, and I think in a lot of people's minds, I think I speak for a huge amount of people, once the land goes and it gets concreted over, yep. it is never going to be returned to any form of permeable land. Whether it's agricultural or not, it doesn't matter. We've got flooding, uh, we, we don't have... We've got to look after the environment. Everybody's talking about climate change. I don't believe in the climate change. It is changing, but that's natural. But we are causing a huge problem here because with flooding... So we have a lot of flooding in our area alone. That's, but then that's true of, uh, you know, other places as well anyway.